Effective immediately, we are asking everyone in Edmonton and Calgary to stop holding social gatherings at home. This is not the place to hang out with friends or family. The province is trying to cut into the 40% of cases that are transmitted within households and at private gatherings. It's asking Albertans to stop having events at home. A lot of people will say the government has no business telling us who we host at home or what kind of socializing we do. I understand that reaction. But here's the reality. If we don't take this, this, these kinds of simple measures and make these sorts of modest sacrifices to so social life, the cases will continue to grow to a point where they may grow out of control. The mandatory 15-person limit on gatherings in Calgary and Edmonton is extended to all municipalities on a COVID watch as the province reports 609 new cases. It's asking Albertans to drop their cohorts to three people or less. What is really critical is that we are doing everything we can to provide every opportunity for us to bend this curve down together before considering more aggressive restrictions. The advice is to go outside or to a restaurant instead. Kenny noting less than 1% of cases are spread in those businesses. After the announcement Thursday that contact tracers were overwhelmed and the province would only be focusing on priority groups, Alberta's health minister was asked when the 380 new contact tracers would be hired. For the ones that, that we are um, trying to fill, um, I, I'm not sure when, when those will be. I, I know that we're, we're doing our best to, to hire and train as, as many um, uh, contact tracers as we can. I think I've mentioned before that there's three different levels of contact tracers all requiring different levels of um, expertise. There are currently over 800 contact tracers in the province. The province announcing nine new deaths over the past two days related to COVID-19, bringing the total number to 351. There were 802 new cases on Wednesday and 609 new cases on Thursday from more than 26,000 tests. 171 people are in hospital and 33 are in ICU. In Calgary, Crystal Adaris, City News.